All right, welcome to the Mason Gym, where the Bombers are taking on the Moeller. I'm joined with Tyler Bush and Nicholas Glenn. This is the regional finals of the OSHA tournament, where last year and the year before that, the Bombers lost to Moeller in the same exact position. Hopefully, this year can be a little bit different. Right, I mean, just like last year, we beat them up in the regular season. We're 3-0 and against them, but didn't exactly help us last year. Had some struggles against them and ultimately lost in the regional finals. So hopefully we can change that here this year. Yeah, both are extremely strong, competitive teams. Uh, they both have incredible players on both ends. Uh, just to point out a few examples, you got Joe Taggart, Brady Jones, Aiden Berkmeyer on the Bombers side, and you got Gesselbrock, William Sauer, and Tyler Wong on the Moeller side. Yeah, this will definitely be a great matchup tonight. I mean, kind of like what Tyler said, the Bombers have kind of dominated the Crusaders in the regular season, but the Crusaders are a different team when it comes to the state tournament. So I think this will be a really good matchup and a really good test for the Bombers. Yeah, 110%. Yeah, I mean, both teams got a lot of seniors. This is a lot of drive for these people. It's a last chance to win a ring here, at least make it to the state final four. It's definitely a big matchup and playoff and GCL rivalry, just like earlier this week against the Elder, anything could happen here. Timeout immediately called by Moeller after they were out of rotation, resulting in a Bombers point off rip. Great start for the Bombers, out of rotation for the Crusaders. That's not the right foot you want to get, you know, start off on for the yeah, Crusaders. Yeah, no, especially not in the regional final. You want to have those problems sorted out long before now. Yeah, that just shows the nerves that these guys are facing and the pressure they're under. Because, like I was saying earlier, Bombers have lost twice in a row to the Crusaders in the same position. They had some great players, but couldn't come out on top in the regional finals after winning 3-0 in the regular season. Now the game will officially begin after that mess up on Moeller's side. Aiden Berkemeyer will start out with the serve for the Bombers. Here's the serve. He's going to float it. And it's going to be an ace to start for the Bombers. Great oh start for the Bombers here. Aiden Berkemeyer gets the ace. Yeah, I think if you're Moeller right now, you couldn't be off to a worse start, really, out of position. I mean, excuse me, out of rotation on a point, and then an ace. Battersea from Moeller. Gesselbrock from the middle, swings, deflected off. Andrew Berkemeyer with a tip over. Ball is bounced out of bounds from Tyler Wong. It's a hot start here right now for the Bombers. I mean, that was some good effort by Moeller there to keep that one alive, or at least attempt to, but couldn't keep it inbounds there. Aiden Berkmeyer with a nice serve. Ball's received. Goes to the outside. Tyler Gesselbrock swings off the top of the block. Joe Byram gets the first touch. Aiden Berkmeyer will set it up to Andrew Berkmeyer, but it's going to be an overpass and out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like there was a little bit of confusion there on whose ball that was second. Burke went for it, but a few guys just stood around and watched that one come down. Got to be calling those out. Here's a serve. Float serve picked up by the defense. Ball will go to Andrew Berkmeyer. Swings line and finds it. Great line, Great line shot from Andrew Berkemeyer there. I mean, uh, I mean, the outside block just couldn't quite get all the way far, far enough out on that line, and Wong just had to hope for the best there. Andrew Berkemeyer now back to serve for the Bombers. He will top. Great top spin received nicely by Gesselbrock. Ball will go to Gesselbrock on the right side. Swings cross, picked up high. Bombers in the net on that block, and it'll be a point for the elder, for Moeller. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like they're going to call number 14, Joe Taggart, in the net for the Bombers. As for the Crusaders, Tyler Gesselbrock goes back to serve. He will top. Finds dead corner. Yeah, that oh was just a my. great serve there. Yeah, ph phenomenal serve. Great spot. The, the, the placement couldn't get any better on that. Yeah, that cross shot on a serve is just first of all that's just hard to receive by itself and then for it to be that pinpoint in the corner exponentially hard now he's back again to the serve once again and it'll be another top spin out of bounds that time and it'll be a point for the bombers even if you have all that power you gotta still control it and now brady jones checks into the ball game for the bombers fan favorite no, but we have back to serve for your Bombers. 
He's got a nice topspin. He will utilize it. Nice receive by the defense. Ball will go to the middle. He'll tip over. Aiden Berkmeyer's there. Pick it up. Ball will go to Joe Byer Joe Taggart on the outside. Swings off Gesselbrock's arm into the stand. Point for the Bombers. That's just an unfortunate reaction there from Gesselbrock. Didn't really see a need to try and get that one. He didn't really get a good hit on it either. Yeah. Noah Boyette back to serve once again. He will top again. Great top spin. Received nicely by the defense. Ball go to the outside. Daniel Max swings cross, and it's going to be a kill. Noah Boyette caught in a bad spot. Too low on his body. Couldn't really pick it up either. He's the middle. You can't really expect much on defense. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, he's a middle. He's not He's not known for his passing. But, I mean, I do think he did a good job getting low to try to get that ball. But, again, he's a middle. He's, he's not supposed to get that ball up. Nice hit by Joe Taggart there. Ball will go up on the Muller side. He'll... Daniel Mack will tip it. Ball's still alive, but... Four hits are called on the Bombers' side after a very, very controversial fall-off. Yeah, and Ferris is very upset about that call. He is, he, he has his hands on his knees talking to the down ref, just not, not too happy about it. We, we're definitely going to see some cars here today, folks. Uh, this may turn out to be a soccer match. That's what makes these games fun. More controversy on the line. Rest saying, get on with it. we got to move on to the next play. Bomber's still upset about that. Tyler Wong back to serve. He'll float. Picked up. High pass. Ball will go to the middle. Brady Jones swings down. Tipped up by the elder defense. Or Muller defense. And it's going to be hit into the... Hit into the antenna. That's going to be a point for the Bombers. Yeah, we're going to see Cam Evans in here. Some great serves against Elder last match. Obviously brought in for consistency on his serves often. Nice float serve. Out of bounds, though. Floats a little too much. Gesselbrock standing right on that back line just judged it immediately and let it go. A little bit of a commentary curse there. That, that, I'm going to say bit. that one's on me. Yeah, yeah. Muller serve now. He'll float. Nice pass. Ball will go to Brady Jones in the middle. Kept alive on Muller's side. Ball will go to the middle. William Sauer swings. Deflected. Ball still alive on Muller's side. Daniel Max swings. Cross and finds it. Through the hands of the block. Yeah, it was a great play from the setter there. I mean, he, he jumped up and he looked like he was going to dump it, but then, and that kind of lured Brady Jones in to, to, to jumping at that ball, but then he set outside. Solo block for the outside and just an easy kill. Another serve from Muller, float serve, picked up. Ball go to Joe Tagger on the outside, swings, kills. No chance for Moeller on that play. I mean, they, they got a touch on the block, but... Ricochet I mean, after Ricochet, can't do much about yeah, it. Can't hard, do much. To, hard to predict those fast-moving balls. Now Joe Taggart back to serve. He will top. Not a great pass to start off of the Moeller. Swings cross. Ball goes up to Andrew Berkemeyer. Swings cross, and it's going to be a kill for Andrew Berkemeyer on Tyler Wong. Man, that yeah. was a hard cross. Yeah, that's a really great hit from Andrew Berkemeyer there. I mean, I mean, the libero and the middle back are supposed to cross whenever somebody uh, hit, hits the ball cross, and, like, the gap was just far too wide, and Wong just couldn't get there in time. Joe Taggart back to serve once again. He'll top. High pass, close to the net, dumped over. Ball is set to the outside. Blocked. Bounces off Andrew Berkmeyer's chest and lands on Bomber's side. Point for Muller. Daniel Mack back to serve. He will top. Clips the top of the net, falls on Muller's side. Whew, lucky, lucky, yeah, lucky. That was very lucky for the Bombers there. Yeah, completely wide open gap. If that one clipped and went over, that one was definitely going to be a point for them. Brady Jones back to serve. He will float. High pass. Ball will go to the outside. Gesselbrock swings back line and finds an all roll shot. Excellent control there by Gesselbrock. 
Yeah, that, that was very close to that line. I think Brady Jones was hoping that one would go out, but I do think it was the right call. Barrett, it hits that line, lands and bounds. William Sauer back to serve. He'll float. High pass by Joe Taggart. Ball will go to Andrew Bergmeier. Swings cross, finds it. No help on the block there to try to de defer that cross to be a line shot from the mill middle. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to jinx him for the rest of the game, but Andrew Berkemeyer is on point in this first set. He's gotten, I think, all of his swings in inbounds and a kill. And Berkemeyer with a nice top received by Moeller. And it's going to be a miscommunication on Moeller falling behind the middle hitter's swing and just falling on Moeller's side. That would be a point for the Bombers. Yeah, I just don't think that was a very good decision from the center there to set the middle because that pass was way off the net. He had to set that from the 10-foot line. I would set one of the pin hitters. And Aiden Berkemeyer sails, sails that one <laughs> way oh, out of bounds. Yeah, definitely are not seeing that one often from either of the Berkemeyer brothers. I'm kind of curious on where Aiden's top spin is. He's yeah, he Aiden. utilizes it a lot, but he's not using it tonight. He did float serve by float serve by Moeller. Ball will go to Andrew Bergmeyer, who tips short, kills it. Very smart play from Andrew Bergmeyer there. He he noticed the triple block and he knew and he knew that zone um, two spot would be wide open, so he just put it there. Yeah, I mean the Burke brothers haven't been using their top spin as much in the last few games at all. Really, it's a little bit surprising. There's the top spin from Andrew Burkmeyer. Ball will go to Gesselbrock on the right side. Tips deep. Joe Byram's there to get first touch. Ball goes to Joe Taggart, who tips short. Kept alive on Moeller's side. Moeller will have to roll it over. Joe Byram with the first touch. Ball will go to Andrew Burkmeyer in the back row. Kind of a roll shot. Picked up on close to Moeller's net, and it will fall on Moeller's side. Sanex really able to take advantage of a little bit of a miscommunication there that we had to start that out. But uh, Moeller made a greater mistake there at the net. Bombers are beneficiaries. Andrew Berkmeyer back again to serve. He will top. Perfect top spin. Overpass. Ball will go to Joe Taggart. Swings one blocker, and it's going to be a kill. Nothing you can do about that. When he puts it with that power right in the middle of zone six, that one's going to almost always be a kill, especially with one blocker. Andrew Berkmeyer may get a little flustered here after hearing from his coach that he was just one inch away from crossing that line. We may see a little bit of a change in his stance. He will top once again. Yeah, stutter step, shorted his, shorted his jump there. Uh, miss serve. When you go that close to the line and you're serving, you suddenly get a subconscious like, I have to jump earlier. And in reality, you can't do that. Gesselbrock back to serve, he'll top. Bad first pass, ball will go to Joe Taggart on the outside. Swings blocked, kept alive. On Bomber's side, they'll tip over. Ball will go to the back row to Gesselbrock. He'll swing. Bad first pass. No boy, it tries to put it over, but cannot. Yeah, it was good hustle there. I mean, getting that over on the third hit in general, solid attempt. Boy, not able to get that one. Gesselbrock back to serve once again. Hopefully, Bombers can get a little bit of a better first pass here. It looks like the, the up ref is talking to Aiden Berkmeyer about something. Not sure what that's about. I have no idea either. Gesselbrock back to serve. He will top. Into the net. So much power, but there's just so little control about that sometimes from Gesselbrock. And I mean, sometimes the power makes up for the un in uncontrollable movements, but not that time. No way up to serve. He'll top. Picked up by Tyler Wong. Ball will go to the outside. He'll swing. Both did not overlap at all. They thought each other would take it. That was Andrew Berkmeyer and Joe Taggart. They tried to overlap. They saw each other, backed off, and the ball just fell in the court. Unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Berkmeyer was, he's his defensive base is middle back, but he was creeped up a lot on that. Tyler Long with a nice serve. Ball goes to Brady Jones. Brady Jones in the middle. And that's one way, to, and that's a great way to get the ball back for the Bombers yeah. as, they, as they lead this first set 17 to 13. Like we've said most times whenever we play Moeller, Moeller does not have that big of an answer for Brady Jones besides Tyler Gesselbrock, but he's on the outside or right side most of the time. Nice to see, nice serve. Ball goes up to the right side of Muller. Hit off Joe Taggart, who tried to pull his arms down. 
to let that ball go past him when he sh when he saw it was a roll shot, so the defense knew that it was coming, but just bounces off of him. Moeller for the serve. They're going to float. Picked up by Joe. Ball will go to Andrew Berkemeyer in the back. Out of bounds. Bombers need to find a collection here. They were up by four. Now they're only up by two. And it's 17-15. Moeller has plenty of time to come back from this deficit. Deficit. Deficit is what he meant to say. Ball goes... Tipped over by Aiden Berkmeyer. Ball will go to Will Williams Tower. Off the top of the head of Brady Jones. Andrew Berkmeyer gets se second touch. Ball will go up to Joe Taggart, who rolls. Ball still alive. Goes to the right side. On a swing. Over. Passed. Kept alive. Dumped down. Unfortunately, Cam can't get the third hit while he was laying down to get that ball up after getting that first touch. Yeah, that was, a, that was a phenomenal rally by both sides there. A little bit of luck on the St. X side, but also a lot of scrappiness and a lot of intensity. They were not going to let that ball hit the floor. Yeah, both teams want this extremely badly. Here's the float serve. Not the best first pass. Ball will go to Joe Taggart, who swings, and it's going to be a kill from Joe Taggart. God, he that's, that's the emphatic kill you won there after sliding a little bit in the points there. I get your energy going again. Yeah, and the Crusaders, they, they, they're putting a triple block out there on Tagger, but Tagger's just unfazed by that as he gets the kill anyway. Young sophomore up to serve. He will top. Good first pass from Moeller. Back row, Gesselbrock. Joe Byram cannot keep that contained. Should have taken it with his hands or, a, or alligated the ball, but not the best positioning for him there so far up on a back row attack. Yeah, I mean, if you're Joe Byram, you can't really do much about that. You just have to hope you're in the right spot and then just put your arms out. Yep, Daniel Mack back to serve for Muller. He will top. Nice first pass. Ball will go to Brady Jones, who miss hits. Completely open net on the left side and just miss hits that ball. Unfortunate. Daniel Mack back, in, back again with another serve. He will top. Out of bounds. It'll be a point redemption for the Bombers, giving them still that one-point lead. Bombers need to show a little bit more intensity right now to shut down, their, to shut down the Crusaders' offense. Brady with a nice float serve. High pass on Muller's side. Ball will go to the outside. He'll tip short. Brady Jones gets second touch. Andrew Berkmeyer swings and is blocked. Yeah, I mean, that's just unfortunate there for the Bombers. Completely wide open space there on the block. Nobody to even stop that from touching the ground. William Sauer back to serve. He will float. Picked up by Andrew Berkmeyer. Ball will go to Andrew Berkmeyer, who swings. Is blocked. Kept alive. Ball will go to Andrew Berkmeyer again. Swings. Blocked. Out of bounds. Yeah, good hustle there by Cam Evans at the start to keep that one alive, keep it going, and Berkmeyer's able to capitalize there. Cam Evans doing exceptionally well this, this set. Yeah, Cam Just showing his, showing his prowess as a junior out there, wanting to make plays, wanting for their seniors to succeed. Genuinely so inspiring from him. Yeah, he had a great elder match, too. He's been on a hot streak these playoffs, really. Hopefully that doesn't come back to jinx us later. But timeout called by Moeller. That's their last one. Yeah, last timeout. 20 to 19, we'll be right back. Welcome back after that short break. 
Bombers will come out with the ball. Muller is out of timeouts. And overall, Bombers are struggling to keep a point gap. Without that four point lead earlier, they may not have been able to stay in this game. I mean, sure, but you gotta look at the bright side here if you're the Bombers. You're five points away from a set victory as long as it doesn't go into extra points. And you have both of your timeouts available still. But you come out and miss the serve first thing. Yeah, not what you want coming out of a timeout there. Bombers have struggled with that all season, making serves, keeping consistent serves. Now Muller has the ball to serve. They'll float. Picked up. Ball go to Noah Boyette on a short set. Kept alive on Muller's side. Gesselbrock will swing from the outside. Not the best first pass. Joe Taggart from the back row will tip short. Ball will go to the right side. He will swing, is blocked. And that's a great block right there from Max Romeo. Put it right back on his head and the crowd has something to say about that. Oh yeah, man, I, that, that almost looked over, but it was four touches, we'll take it. <laughs> oh man. Andrew Bergmar back to serve. He will top. And that's inbounds! It's gonna Andrew Bergmar hits the line, lands inbounds. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, that's what you need here. You get your two point lead, you establish you know, you've got your serves back on now. He'll serve once again. Kept alive! Bombers go with the ball and a set to the outside. Tip short, off the block, and it's gonna be a point! Bombers 23-20. Uh, that was a great play there from the Bombers when he came back to their side, but you gotta appreciate the hustle and intensity from the Crusaders there. They were able to get that one over. To shoot tie on Muller's side. Pausing the game for a second or two. Andrew Berkemeyer up to serve. He will top. High pass on Muller's side in the back row. Kept alive. Muller will roll first ball. Joe Byron will take second ball. Joe Taggart swings, stuffed. That's the last thing you want to see right now. That's what brings energy back to a Muller side that you had just taken the three-point lead over. Yeah, but that was a phenomenal block from the Crusaders. Oh, sure. That was, I mean, the, the Bombers had, had the momentum going into that point, and then coming out of that point, the Crusaders just snatched it away. That's what all of volleyball is all about. Tyler Gesselbrock with a nice serve. Ball's received, goes to Joe Taggart, swings, and gets the kill. Bombers one point away from the first set. A great redemption there by Taggart after a mistake on that, not a mistake, a block on that last play. You want to come back and get that point. Luke Source checks into the game for the Bombers. He's a sophomore, folks. Nice float, sir. Bad receive on Moeller's side. Moeller will go to the outside with the set. Is blocked, blocked by Brad Bomber. Jones! Bombers take and the first, first set. set. Belongs to the Bombers! Bang! And we'll be back once the second set begins.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just now joining us, we're here at Mason High School. I'm Tyler Bush with Nicholas Glenn and Andrew Tressler. We're in the second set here of the regional final matchup between your St. Xavier Bombers and the Muller Crusaders. If you missed that first set, it just ended with Bombers catching a dub. It was a little bit of a struggle near the end, but they were able to pull through, get some separation on the points, and ultimately come out with a lead here. Muller was a little bit sluggish that first set, where they lost the first point to, due to um, an out of rotation. Hopefully they don't do the same thing twice, please. Nope. All right. Yeah, I mean, that one had some adverse effects with timeouts later. They used their first timeout before the second point of the game was even scored. You would have loved to have that back later when the Bombers got closer to that set point. But you're going to have to deal with it this time as the set comes over. It's picked up by Taggart. Set. Oh. In the net there, I believe. On Moeller. Eli Frank. Ernst. Ernst. Not. Sorry. Eli Ernst. I mean, that's, like you said, there might not have been an out of rotation call there, but that's not how you want to get your first point scored against you either. As Burke comes back with the float. Gets that over. It's picked up by Muller. Set the far side. Blocked there well by Romeo. Just tipped on over. Byram able to get it. Set to the opposite. Gonna call that one just off the net only. Hit the top of the yep. net, rebounded off, out of bounds. Yeah, yeah it, it was the right idea from Berkemeyer there. A very hard cross shot, but he tried to hit a little too far cross and it hit the tape of the net and stayed on the bomber's side. Gonna be a top spin over here by Moeller, picked up by Byram, set by Burke to his brother. That one Bang. is gonna be off the block for the tool. Oh, man. There's no, there's no recovering that one. There's no, no, no recovering way. that one. No way. So now Burke is going to step here for another serve. Going to see the top spin. Picked up. A little bit low there. In the net on Max yeah. Romeo. Yeah, the, that's kind of unfortunate if you're the Bombers because the Crusaders didn't really have a great attack going there. Now, that was a one-handed set, by the way, from the Moeller uh, setter. Just floated over, picked up by Taggart, set by Burke to Boyette. He just tipped that one over. Set right to the middle, blocked by Boyette for the point. Now it's William Sauer who was blocked. Now no way it back to serve for the Bombers. Brady Jones checks in. Uh, we said it earlier in the first set, Moeller really hasn't been able to find an answer for Brady Jones throughout the year, especially here tonight. It's Boyette, top spins over. Good spin. Overpass. And that's a bomber point there. The Out of the neutral playing field from William Sauer there, pushed over the net into the bombers' territory. And that's going to be a point for the bombers. A lot of mistakes for Muller in these opening few points as Boyette comes in with another top spin. Just going to have to. Good. Ooh. Literally. Thought that literally. was a good block. Thought that literally. Was a good block. Yeah, it, it would have been a great block, but it just ricocheted out. Yeah, yeah, just ricocheted out, which is pretty unfortunate for Taggart there. Smaller's going to come back for another serve. Float on over. Picked up by Burke, set by Burke, and just pushed on over by Brady Jones. And nobody there in the back as Moeller scores another point. It's all tied up here. It's 4 4. Hey, yeah, I don't think the, I don't think Andrew Berkemeyer was really expecting the setter for Moeller to push that ball deep corner because um, I believe it was Joe Tagger was there on the block. Moeller floats there, is over. Taggart picks it up. They said back to Taggart. He's just pushing it over, and that's going to be a point for the Bombers. Dig way out there. Yeah, on that last play, everybody's everybody on the Bombers side is starting to creep up because they keep the balls keep getting tipped short, and that allowed Moeller to throw that ball deep corner without Bombers really reacting to it in time. Got to see Cam here with the float. Gets that one over. Picked up, but it's set to the middle. That's deflected off Brady Jones there for the Muller point. No separation to be seen so far in this second set. Finger yep. Fingertip ball right there, you know. Block goes high, bounces off the top middle finger, and it just goes. Yeah, it just goes way over the, the, the defense's head. Just no chance for Berkemeyer or Evans to even touch it. 
the top spin is picked up by Byram. High pass there. Burks sends that one over to just tip it over for Taggart. Muller able to get that one over, and it's way out there. It's going to be a point for the Bombers. Uh, I noticed on that block there, Aiden Berkemeyer, he had his arms up, and then before Gesselbrot swung at the ball, he put his arms down. Gesselbrot swung line, and it went out of bounds. Yeah, um, uh, Muller's trying to utilize the tip game here and use it, utilize the tool game. So Taggart comes in with the topspin. And they tip it out of bounds there. Uh, I mean, close I mean, call. Yeah, <laughs> close call. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, course. again, we're seeing we're seeing this deep tip from from Moeller here. The Bombers aren't expecting. That's twice in a row that they've uh, that they've kind of caught him off guard. But that time, the Bombers got lucky. That just barely goes out of bounds. As Taggart flies out of bounds, too much power on that one. Sour step back now. Goes up with the float. Burke gets it barely as. Burke's it's gonna be a call yeah. double on him. Unfortunate. You don't see that much. You don't see that much from Berkemeyer. You know he's very controlled, very conservative about how he sets. You know everything's got to be perfect for him before he sets a ball. Now the game's tied up at 7-7. Bomber lead dissipated as it's floated over again. Taggart picks it up. Bergmeier sets it to Brady Jones. Solid dig there. Muller's keeping it alive. They just roll that one over. Byram sets. to be Brady Jones on the kill. Yeah, excellent defense there from Muller, but still can't stop Brady Jones. Yeah, I mean, even on that on that free ball, I feel like I feel like the Bombers still kind of got lucky because that wasn't a great set from Aiden Berkemeyer, and there was and there was a lot of backspin on that hit from Jones, but it was it was angled down far enough that it just lands in. Now, Brady Jones came in with the float over right down the middle. That's unfortunate there. That was a that was a 32 play there where the outside or the right side came in after the middle and just allowed him to hit that ball perfectly without any block. Man. Unfortunate for the Bombers. Yeah, that, that was just a great offensive play from Moeller there. Just you, you can't do much about that if you're the Bombers. As Taggart, huge mistake. Breaks his breaks his hands, as you would call it. Yeah, the, and and I mean we haven't seen that much from from Taggart all year. I mean he usually keeps his hands strong, but that time just goes right through. Keeps him strong that time as it's set to Burke. Oh, my play. Line shot. Holy cow. No chance. Yeah, they're... When Bombers get a good set and they have a good high first pass... That happens. It's guaranteed... It's, it, so far, it's been guaranteed a point this game. As we see Burke step back for a serve now. Comes in with the float over. And that one's too far out there. Yeah, Aiden Berkemeyer just, we saw this in the first set too, he just hasn't been able to keep that serve in consistently. He's hes missed his serve deep, I'm, I believe three times this game. Muller's gonna return it with the top spin. Taggart picks it up though. Can't really do anything about that. Overpass, Aiden was trying to set the ball and was just kind of blocked. It's going to be a back row attack, ne technically, so. Ferris kind of confused on that, yelling in the ref. I think we're going to see a card here. We may see a card come out. No, we don't. He's reaching for the pocket. Oh. He's reaching for the pocket. And he it. gets a yellow card. And the Moeller side has been the loudest they've been all game. Like I said earlier, we're going to see some cards tonight. Yeah, it's an intense matchup. Not, they were not a fan of that call there. Both of these coaches, they are high, intense coaches that demand everything. And when they don't get it, they get mad. <laughs> Guess Brock to serve. See the top spin over, received by Byram. Set to Burke. Solid dig, though, for Muller to keep it alive. Blocked by Boyette. 
That's a great block there by Boyette. Yeah, I mean, just a great block from Boyette. It, it looks like the right side kind of jumped a little too early, so so that the outside could have swung line, but he swung cross, and that was a mistake. Boyette right there. Bombers still trail only by one, though. So Burke's going to come back with a top spin. Gets that one over, picked up by Moeller, though. Set far out. Blocked block by, by Max Romeo! The solo block on the outside. What a block from Max Romeo there. Oh, my goodness. Daniel Max shut down. I mean, two emphatic blocks like that in a row. That's exactly what you want after uh, you got a card there called on you. That, that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> Berg gets oh way out. Miss hit there, yeah. upper right part of his hand. Nothing else made contact and just curveball. You see Moeller step back to serve here now. Coming with the float. Picked up by Taggart. Set by Burke to Romeo. It was blocked. Solid tip over as Burke sets to Taggart. Off the block. Moeller's going to keep that one. That's way out there by the end of the play. Goes behind the Moeller benches. Excellent attacking from the Bombers there. Excellent contact on all sets, all hits. That's an offense right there. That is an offense. Boyette's coming back for his serves now. Top spin from Noah. That one's picked up. Set. They just have to roll that one over. Set to Brady, Brady Jones. Jones! Puts that ball down once again. Oh my goodness. Bombers take a lead back after being two down. Noah Boyette now back to serve for the Bombers. Boyette's coming in with the top spin again. Picked up by Moeller, and it's going to be set. Blocked again! Oh, no! Max oh, oh, my goodness! Blocks Daniel back once again! The junior! The junior! Romeo is having himself a game on that right side. Two emphatic blocks from Max Romeo this set. I mean, that's exactly what you want. You were down two, now you're up two as Boyette sent it over. Picked up by Moeller. Set to the middle and he puts it down. That's Will Sauer on the kill. Brady Jones with a misread there at the net. Thought William was going to swing right for him, but jumped to the left. Yeah, that is one way to, to limit the momentum of the Bombers with that emphatic hit right there. Wow, great hit from Sauer. Good pick up there by Burke to keep that one going. Taggart off the block. They're just going to have to free ball that one over as Burke sets it to Brady Jones for another kill. That's what we like to see, folks. I was rough there at the start. It looked like we might not be able to get that after it clipped off the net. Max Merrigan hyped up on his teammates on the bench right there. Cam Evans with the serve. Comes in with the float. Picked up solidly by Muller. And Joe, Joe Taggart, Taggart takes advantage of the overpass. One hand dunk. Oh, yeah. And the Crusaders call a timeout as they trail the Bombers 16 to 13 in this second set. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, after the timeout. We're here nearing the end of the second set. It's 16 Bombers, 13 Crusaders. It's been a wild turnaround. Bombers were down two earlier in the set to take the only 
three-point lead we've seen so far in this second set. What have you guys seen so far that you've liked? Max Romeo. Yeah. Max the, Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> that one-man army on the right side. Now Cam Evans with the serve. It's going to be picked up by Moeller. Set far. Nice job there by Cam Evans. It's going to be set to Taggart. Taggart off the block and Byram. Good reaction, yeah. but can't keep it in. Great reaction, but can't keep it in. The juniors, though, Cam Evans and Max Romeo, are playing out of their minds right now. Yeah, I mean, that was a great, great dig on the line from, from Cam Evans right there. He, he just had to stick his arms out and hope for the best, and it was uh, almost a perfect pass. We're going to see the topspin here. It's going to be picked up by Taggart, set by Berg to Brady Jones. The Crusaders just can't do anything to stop Brady Jones right now. He just middle of the court. Just what Moeller needs to find something to try to contain him. Joe subbed out for the young sophomore, Luke Source. Yeah, Source is another guy we've seen brought in when the serves are looking a little bit off for the rest of the team here. So it makes sense. We want to keep this lead going, have some safer serves here. Not to mention, he is an excellent back row passer. As he sends that one over. Oh, oh. solid dig there by Source. He just wasn't able to get that fully under control. Man, Gesselbrock, though, like I said earlier, a lot of power, yeah. not a lot of control, but when it gets in that perfect area with that perfect accuracy, can't really do much. Good effort, though, by Luke Source. Float on over. Picked up by Burke, set by his brother to Brady Jones, but it's out. Too far left. Too far left on that. Came a little bit too hot, couldn't really bring it back if he really wanted to anyways. The Bomber lead has all but dissipated at this point. We're hanging on to a lead of one here at 17-16. They're so gonna come in with another float. Picked up by Burke again. Set to his brother and back to him, but off the net. Tying the setup here, folks. Yeah, Andrew Berkmeyer has not has not played very well in this second set. And it's really starting to show here. Moeller stepping back again. Gonna see another float. Picked up by Burke for the third time. Tipped on over. Good dig by Byram there to keep that one going. Rolled over for the point. Third time's the charm. Bombers take the lead back. Ooh, lucky, lucky, lucky off a roll on the net there. Kind of just, kind of just rolled across and fell into the open area. Yeah, I mean, you would, you can't really do much about that if you're a Muller player. Brady Jones comes back with the float. And Libero is not able to get that one under control as that's going to be a bomber point there. Reestablishing yep. a multi-point lead. He, yeah, that, that, that was a, that's a rare shank from the Molo Libero there. He's been super consistent all year and what we've seen in these St. S games. That's very uncharacteristic of him. Brady targets him again. This time doesn't work. Nice job by Brady Jones there on the overpass. And that's out of bounds for a bomber point. Great job by Brady Jones to keep that one alive there. The one hand flick of the wrist, we like to see that. Oh yeah. Re-established our three-point lead as Brady Jones floats it over, targets the libero again. Solid block there by Burke. Source is going to get that one to Burke, to his brother. Muller's keeping it alive here. They just tip it over. Nice dig by Source. Overpass. Deep oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luke Source, though, the sophomore with the diving save to keep the Bombers alive. And Muller's forced to take a timeout. Been an intense second set here, and we'll be right back with the end of it after this timeout.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just now joining us, you've missed an intense second set here. It's 21-17 here. Bombers have the ball. You just missed a great Luke Source dig for a bomber point off a tip there. Brady Jones has been having a great serving streak so far, too. Don't mean to jinx it here as he floats one over. Stays in bounds, though. Bombers. Castle Brock. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that guy still exists. Oh man, that was a great, that was a great cross shot. That was yeah. very powerful. Yeah, it was, it was a great cross shot. The block couldn't do enough. I mean, Andrew Berkmeyer tried to get something on it, couldn't, couldn't quite get. Muller floats that one over, picked up by Burke. Sent to Boyette. Boyette gets that one over. As Muller pushes it over, Source on the attempted dig. Good hustle. Tried to get that corner shot. But Bombers are still creeping up closer and closer than that. Gesselbrock, realizing that, just says, all right, go to the corner. Moeller floats it over again, picked up by Burke. Set, tipped over by his brother, actually. Out of bounds, out of bounds there. Excellent positioning from Cam Evans there. Letting that ball go, foot on the line, doesn't chase the ball. Great now, job. And now Max Romeo checks back into the game. We saw two emphatic blocks from him on Daniel Mack, the outside. Probably looking to do to do some of that again. The nice. one-man army. Burke <laughs> comes back for a serve. Keeps it inbounds this time. No one is That's there gonna be for an ace. it. That's going to be an ace. He's been having some trouble with the serve this set, but he gets it done this time and couldn't have come at a better time here. They're two points away from the second set victory. He floats it over again. Miscommunication there by Muller. Blocked, but that's a Muller point. Hit off the block, out of bounds. Tough break for Bombers there. Max Romeo, kind of getting, kind of just getting uh, in position again. Topsman, received well by Source. Now it's just gonna be free balled on over. To the middle, and that one just barely stays in bounds. Bombers have been getting killed by the tip all night. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that offense was just a little too quick for the Bombers there. I mean, Max Romeo couldn't quite get in his cover position in the right back. I believe that's Aiden Berkmeyer, just couldn't, just couldn't quite get in his, in his position. Bombers lead still stands at two, with a good reception there by Byram. To set it to his brother, but off the block. That's another point for Moeller. I think we're going to see a timeout. We may see a timeout if we lose another point here from the Bombers. But if they give a timeout up, that could lose all their momentum that they built up. And as you may know in volleyball, momentum is key. Well, I mean, Moeller's clearly got the momentum here. Three unanswered points after the timeout. Out of bounds there. Bombers one point away from two sets. That is a very critical miss serve from Gesselbrot there. That puts the Bombers at set point with Andrew Berkemeyer back looking to end it. Other than his one miss served after his worry about foot over the line there, we've seen some solid serves from them all night. Don't mean to jinx it here. He sends the top spin over, keeps that one in bounds. Muller's gonna set it. Blocked oh, by Romero a third time for the second set victory. The perfect way to end the set. It's oh. gonna end 25 to 22. Bombers up 2-0 in sets. We'll be back for the third one after this break.
Welcome back. Welcome to the third set of this great matchup between the St. Xavier Bombers and the Molar Crusaders. If you're just tuning in with us, uh, the Bombers won the first set pretty close. I believe the score was 25 to 21, but that second set, just two words for you folks. Max Romeo, three incredible blocks on the outside, on, on Daniel Mack on the Molar outside, and that just... Just, gained all the momentum. Yeah, just gained all the momentum for for the Bombers. And sophomore Luke Source with some incredible defensive plays in that second set. Just phenomenal from the Bombers so far. The Bombers will, will start out with the set in, or, or with the serve, sorry, in this third set with Aiden Berkemeyer back. He, he struggled with this serve a little bit tonight. Let's see if he can try to fix that this set. He'll float. Good serve, good pass from Gesselbrot, set outside to Mack, tipped over, and Aiden Berkemeyer was not ready for that, as that is a good start for the Crusaders. Not Was not pushed up to the 10-foot line where you're supposed to be or on the line. Just out of position, but... And Markham floats, taken by Tagger. Not the best pass, one-hand save from Berkemeyer. Free ball to over, blocked by Boyette. Set to the outside, Mack, and line shot. And that lands deep zone five in the corner. The spot can't get much better than that. Yeah, unfortunate there. Burke thought that one was going out, pulled his arms back. Moeller takes a two-point lead to start off the set. Only time they've started the set off with a point. Markham floats once again, and that one lands inbounds. Taggart thought that was gonna go out, but it lands on that right sideline. And that's an ace for the Crusaders. <laughs> Another float serve from Markham. Taken by Taggart this time, set, middle. Bang! No, Boyette gets the first point of the set for the Bombers. Boyette's been coming up big in crucial moments here. Obviously don't want to be down 3-1 still, but to stop that slide from going further, very crucial. Now Andrew Berkemeyer back to serve. He'll top spin. Gets it in. Good pass from Mack there. Set middle. Kept and alive. Kept alive by the Bombers. Good save from Taggart. Free ball and over. Set outside to Yox. Max Romeo got a touch on the block, but it goes out of bounds, and that's a tool and a point for the Crusaders. That was definitely four touches, but... Um, no call by the ref means your no bomber's got to keep playing. Yeah, and then the ref, for not calling the ball, the molar smacked it into the block and it ricocheted into the, into the ref's face. Oh, man. You should have made the call, ref. <laughs> His three-point lead's bigger than any molar had last set at all. They couldn't get past two. Daniel Mack top spins, taken by Byram. Set outside to Taggart. Taggart puts that ball down, deflects off the block, and lands in the middle of the court. Yeah, smart play there by Taggart. Uh, Libero was ready a little bit further back. His feet were set, ready to receive it. Taggart puts that one down too far in front of him to reach. Noah Boyette for the Bombers goes back to serve. Brady Jones checks into the front row. Boyette to serve, he'll top. Good serve there, taken well by Gesselbrot. Set outside to Gesselbrot. Hard cross shot taken by Taggart. Set outside to Taggart. Deep tip taken by Mack. Back set, right side. And Taggart thought he had the block, but the ball hit the ground before he even noticed it was on the Bombers' side. Brady tried to scoop it with his hand, but was still standing up, so he couldn't really get onto the ball. Tyler Wong back to serve. He'll float. Shorter serve and a shank from Taggart there. Not a great start from Taggart in this in this third set. Yeah, definitely seeing some uncharacteristic stuff from the entire Sinex team here. Not like them to be down this early. Long, another, a short float serve. Take a well by Taggart this time. Seven, oh, Brady Jones. Brady Jones gets that ball right back for the Bombers. It's moments like these where you really got to lean on Brady Jones. They haven't had an answer for him all night, and you don't expect them to get one anytime soon. You got to rely on what he's got going up there to get you some points and claw back for a lead. 
Cam Evans checked into the game. He floats. Good pass set outside to Gesselbrot. Gesselbrot, a lot of power on that swing. Puts that ball down. No chance for the Bomber defense. Nice cross shot, but like you were saying, no chance for Bombers to receive that ball. So low block against Gesselbrock usually does not end well. Colin Yox back to serve for the Crusaders. He'll float, floats it into the net. Bombers are grateful to have that one. Now sophomore Joe Tagger back to serve. Tagger will topspin. Miscommunication in the Moeller back row, and that's an ace for Joe Taggart and the Bombers. That's exactly what you want if your Taggart had some mistakes earlier on that gave Moeller a larger lead than you would have liked, but clawing back with serves like that is exactly what you want to see. Taggart top spins. Gets it in, good pass from Wong. Dump, great hustle from Byram there. Set straight up by Jones. Back row attack taken by Wong. Set outside of Gesselbrock. Gesselbrock blocked! Blocked by Stop. Brady Jones! Puts Gesselbrock in his place! My goodness. Taggart top spins. A lot of power on that serve. Set outside to Gesselbrock. Tipped. Great hustle from Kevin. Byram keeps it up. Free ball over by Berkemeyer. Taken by Mack. Set middle to Sauer. Sauer hits right in between the block and hits the tape of the net, but lands on the Bombers' side. That'll be a point for the Crusaders. Excellent defense from the Bombers, though, especially Cam Evans with the one-hand pancake at the net. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Luke Soares checks into the back row for the Bombers for defensive purposes. Looks like there's a wet spot on the court. That's why the towel's coming out. Joe Byram's wiping that up. And for the Crusaders, Tyler Gesselbrot is going back to serve. Gesselbrot top spins. Great serve, great pass from Byram. Set outside to Berkemeyer. Dug by Gesselbrot. Back row attack. Gesselbrot just tips it over. Taken by Evans. Tight set to the net. And a, and a dump. Oh from my goodness. Aiden Berkemeyer. Great the, play there. The control that takes to do. And Aiden Berkemeyer does it flawlessly. Yeah, it was it was a phenomenal attempt from Tyler Wong to try to get that ball up, but he just wasn't there in time. Great play from Berkemeyer there. Brady Jones back to serve for the Bombers. Jones will float. And that one sails out of bounds. Yeah, not what you wanted. You're a point within tying the game up, and you, know, you got to work harder to get that back. Bombers been down this entire set, have not gained a point on the Crusaders or over the Crusaders. Will Sauer back to serve, he'll float. Not a great pass there, set outside to Berkemeyer. Tipped off the block, taken by Sauer, and a dump, a great, great play from the setter, Ben Markham there. Catches the Bombers off guard and gets that point for the Crusaders as they're the first to reach double digits in this third set. Bombers still trail by three, as they have been most of this third set. Sauer floats. Shorter serve, better pass from Berkmeyer. A slide to Boyette. What a and that slide worked out perfectly for the Bombers. Aiden Berkemeyer back to serve. Max Romeo checks into the front row for the Bombers. He had a great second set. Let's see if he can repeat his success here in the third set. Aiden Berkemeyer to serve. He floats. Good pass from Wong. Set outside to Daniel Mack. Roll shot, one hand dig. Set to the outside for Berkemeyer. Good dig from Wong. Set back row to Yox. Good dig from Source. Set outside to Berkemeyer. Berkemeyer off the block. Gets the point for the Bombers. Berkemeyer closing the gap in the points. 
Oh, my. Great pass there by Source to keep that one going there right before we scored. Overall, great control from the entire defense. Those balls were in the back side of the court, but kept them up so the hitters could still hit the ball. Now Aiden, the float once again. Hits the tape of the net, taken by the libero, set back over to Gesselbrot. Luke Source lets that one float out of bounds. Oh, lay. Oh, my. And a timeout is called by the Muller Crusaders as the Bombers have just tied this game up in this third set. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, welcome back after that timeout. The Crusaders were forced to call their first timeout as they've they've had to lead this entire third set, but the Bombers have just gotten three straight points to tie this game up at 10. Aiden Berkmeyer floats. A lot of power on that serve. Good, good receive set outside to Daniel Mack. Blocked! A miscommunication, but controlled over by the Crusaders. Byram set outside to Berkmeyer. Berkmeyer cross, great dig from Wong there. Set back row to Gesselbrot. Blocked! Good cover, set outside to Daniel Mack. He just rolls it. Luke Soros takes first ball, set outside to Berkemeyer. Off the block! Kill from Andrew Berkemeyer. Bombers get the first, first lead of the set that they get. I, Source coming in has been big here. He's been positioning himself great. He's been getting to those tipped balls that have really been killing the team the other two sets. The absolute great knowledge of this sophomore of the sport is incredible. And he's just demonstrating that here tonight. Another float serve from Berkemeyer. Received by Oliver. Set outside to Daniel Mack. Roll shots it. Hits the tape of the net. And kind of unlucky for the Bombers that it ends up on their side. Yeah, they kind of just rolled off the back of No Boyout's hands. Um, unfortunate, but Bombers can recover. Ben Markham back to serve for the Crusaders. He'll float. Good serve taken by Berkemeyer. Send it to Boyette. And Wong not able to get that ball up. Boyette gets himself a kill. Boyette, I said it earlier, has been coming up big this entire game. That's Joe Taggart checks into the game. First hit in a while that we had no Brady Jones or Joe Taggart in the game. Andrew Berkemeyer, top spins. Good serve, received well by Wong, set outside. Blocked by Max, Max Romeo. Romeo again! Max Romeo is having himself a game. Andrew Berkemeyer, top spins. Toss was out in front of him, puts a lot of power on that serve. Taggart keeps that ball on the Moeller side, and that will result in a point for the Bombers as Ben Markham reached over the net, which he's not allowed to do as a back row player. Broke the neutral field. Andrew Berkemeyer, top spin once again, hits the tape of the net, but unable to roll over the tape of the net, as that's a missed serve for the Bombers. And a substitution for the Crusaders. Daniel Mack is coming out for Dom Schutte. Looks like they just want some server change and or just the best passing back line that they can have. A float serve from Schutte. Taken by Taggart. Set outside to Taggart. Taken by the setter. Wong sets right side to Yox. Yox off the, off the block of Joe Taggart. Gets the point. Gets the tool for the Crusaders.
Schrute floats once again. Taken by Taggart, set middle to Boyette. And that just barely goes out of bounds for Boyette. That was awful close, but the line judge calls it out. Another float from Schutte, taken by Taggart. Set middle to Boyette, Boyette redeems himself this time. Puts that ball into the ground. Excellent hit from Noah Boyette there. Just, just, just phenomenal. He's been bringing the power this set. Yeah, he really has, and Boyette goes, goes back to serve. Top spin, a lot of power on it. Good receive, set outside to Gesselbrot. He rolls it. Great hustle from Boyette there, set outside. Taggart rolls it. Good dig from Schutte there, set outside to Gesselbrot. Gesselbrot hits it out of bounds. The up ref there overruled one of the corner refs or the line judges who said it was a touch in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I think the right call was made in the end there. Definitely. Boyette top spins. Good serve, good receive from Gesselbrot. Set outside to Gesselbrot. Roll shot, deep corner. Enough top spin on that ball to just fall down anywhere on that court. Tough break for the Bombers there. Bombers with a stellar front row right now. Joe Taggart, Brady Jones, and Max Romeo. Three all-stars right there. Tyler Wong floats, taken by Taggart. Set middle, Brady Jones, Brady Jones. No block for the Crusaders there. Brady Jones has a free net to swing on. Puts that ball in the middle of the court. Cam Evans checks into the game for Max Romeo, going back to serve. Evans floats, and Shuddy smartly lets that one go out of bounds. It, it was awful close, but but it goes out of bounds. Crusaders point. Colin Yox back to serve for the Crusaders. He'll float. Taken by Andrew Berkmeyer, set outside to Taggart. Taggart off the head of Ben Markham. Great hustle from the middle back of the Crusaders, but unable to keep that ball in play. Bombers now lead by two after trailing for a long time. And Danny McNanny checks into the game for the Crusaders. The expert fisherman. Joe Taggart back to serve for the Bombers, he'll top. And not a great serve from Taggart there. Targeting the bench there a little bit. <laughs> yeah, unsurprisingly after that one, Source is coming in. Yeah. You know, that, we might as well give Joe a chance though. You know, he's a powerful server, why not? Could yeah. be an ace. Now Luke Source is in the game. Excellent passer, no harm done. Now for the Crusaders, Luke Oliver back to serve. Oliver floats. Good serve, good pass from Byron. Back one to Brady Jones. Hits off the block, but the block's not enough. Brady Jones gets the kill regardless. Now, the Bombers have no Brady Jones and no Joe Taggart in the front row, but what they do have is a Noah Boyette with an Andrew Berkemeyer. Brady Jones floats, great serve, good pass from McEnany. Back one to Sauer, tipped off the block. Makes it easy for Evans, set. Back row to Brady Jones. Kept in play by the Crusaders. Tipped over, taken by Brady Jones. Set outside to Berkemeyer. Berkemeyer puts that ball down. Bang! Incredible rally there. And the overpass goes out of bounds, resulting in a bomber's point. I think that point there really just showed this is Brady Jones's world, honestly, and we're all living in it. As Brady Jones floats again, Taken by McEnany, set outside to Daniel Mack. Hard cross shot, good dig from Andrew Berkemeyer. Set outside to Andrew Berkemeyer. Good dig from Wong there, good hustle from the Crusaders to keep it in play. Free ball over by Oliver, taken by Jones. Set outside to Andrew Berkemeyer, puts that ball down. Kept in play 
by the Crusaders. Free ball over. Set middle. Boyet. Boyet. Oh my gosh. Call. What a hit. What a hit. Tyler Wong got knocked down. And a timeout by the Crusaders. Their second one of this third set. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, welcome back from that short timeout. The uh, Crusaders were forced to call their second timeout of this third set as the Bombers lead 21 to 17. Brady Jones has been putting on a show here these last few points. He's been doing everything on the court and it's been working great for him. Moeller in disarray right now. It's not what you want when you have no timeouts left too. Brady Jones getting ready to serve. He'll float. And that one sails out of bounds. A much needed point for the Crusaders. Now Will Sauer back to serve for Muller. Sauer floats. Taken by Berkemeyer, set outside, back to Berkemeyer. Good dig from Gesselbrot there. Dumped over and dumped back over by Aiden Berkemeyer. And that's a point for the Bombers. That was great hustle there by Cam Evans on that tip over from Moeller to keep that one going. Seen right. it from him all night, actually. A few one-handed passes to keep things alive. Aiden Berkemeyer floats a lot of power on it. Good dig from McEnany. Dipped over. Diving safe. Tipped over by Boyette. Set outside to Daniel Mack. Hard cross taken by Byram. Set outside to Andrew Berkemeyer, who is unable to get the ball over the net. And the Crusaders get the ball back. If there's been one word to describe these last few points, it's been scrappy. Intense. I haven't seen exactly you know, the most set up and well thought out sequences. But uh, they're getting the ball over and they're getting it over almost every time. Ben here. Markham floats. Good pass from Andrew Berkemeyer. Set right side to Berkemeyer. And Moeller is in the net. Moeller is in the net. That is a point for the Bombers. Yeah. 2 points away from the win here. After two long years, Bombers might be seeing a revenge here. We might be seeing a revenge. Muller's got a long way to claw back if they want to, because Bombers still have both their timeouts. Andrew Berkemeyer, two points away from the final four. Top spin serve. Good pass, or not a great pass from Gesselbrot, but keeps it in play. Roll shot over by Mack, taken by Berkemeyer. Set middle to Boyette. Taken by, Mac, by Markham. Set right side to Daniel Mack. Good dig from Berkemeyer. Set to Taggart. Taggart off the block! Bang! Off the block! Bombers. The, Bombers. the Bombers are at set and match point. After two years, Bombers in the position to win this game. Andrew Berkemeyer looking to send the Bombers to the Final Four. He did it against Elder. He did it against here. Elder. Can he do it against Moeller? Elder, Moeller making some sub last minute substitutions. It, it looks like Moeller is going to put in their seniors. Andrew Berkemeyer, top spin. Overpass. And Joe Taggart! Nice! Joe Taggart has set the Bombers to the final four, beating the Muller Crusaders 3-0. It's another great day to be a Bomber, folks. After two long years, 
and two very, very hard losses on the Bombers. They finally get their revenge against Molar Crusaders. Great game by both teams. And we'll be back once the finals begin.